Welcome back to another video and today we are back to another Premier League match day vlog where we go away to Newcastle. Coming up to St James's is always really, really difficult. Even this season, they're not on the best of form at the minute, but at home they're unbeaten in their last five. And we saw that last season going 5 nil down in just 22 minutes and surely it can't be any worse today. We've just squeezed into the top four now, but with the small amount of games we've got after this, just six Premier League games left, we really need to focus on staying in that top four now because it's all we can fight for. It's definitely going to be a really, really tough game today, but I am going into this one confident. Newcastle are suffering with so many injuries at the minute. And if you look at their squad, they've got quite a leaky defence, which I am confident that we can get out today. We just need to make sure that we have a really good performance. James Madison in particular, recently he's been a bit flat and if he can come into the game, everyone can just play as they have been, then I think we can get the result today. Despite Newcastle's current injuries going forward they are very strong and although we have a strong back line we have been liable to leak in goals and it's probably going to be the case today I can't see us keeping a clean sheet if we can it'll be great but I'm going to go for a 3-1 score prediction hopefully we can get the payback get the revenge from last season if you guys go on to enjoy this video make sure you drop a like subscribe with post notifications let's head up to St James's Park come on you Spurs Guys, we've arrived inside St. James's, sitting right at the top for the game today, and the teams are now out. From our side, there's only been one change uh, since the Forest game, where we beat them 3 1. Changes in the midfield, Pape Sar steps out, and Rodrigo Bentica comes in. So that seems to be the place where Ange Postacoglu is not 100% sure because he keeps changing that. But even if the Sar's having a good game, we need to rotate these players because we're going into the end of the season picking up knocks. That's not good because there's some difficult games coming. But that's the only change. Other than that, we're unchanged since the last game. And Newcastle have a strong team. As, as we kind of predicted, they have a pretty weak back line. It's not terrible, but it's definitely a back line that, that will be leaking. There will be space that hopefully we can expose and get in there. But the midfield and the attack, there's plenty of players in there that could cause damage. So by no means it's going to be an easy game. It could seriously go either way today. I'm just hoping we can start the game strong, get an early goal and pick up from there. Come on, Spurs. Oh no, free header. Wider picture after this, the next game is the North London Derby, Arsenal at home. It's not for two weeks, so we'll, we even have time to recover. So we need to make sure that we come out in this second half and we leave absolutely everything out there. I think it was the last game against Forest, but Ange completely changed the midfield about three quarters way into the game and it changed the dynamic completely. I think it was Lo Celso, Bentico, and Saar which came on. Obviously, Bentico's player now, but maybe bring uh, Celso and Saar on. I seriously don't know what he's going to do, but if we bring this back, it will seriously surprise me. We need a miracle in this second half. If we can, it will seriously set the bar and set the level going into the North London Derby. It's going to be a tough second half. Hopefully, it's not as embarrassing as the first. One ball! It was like a training game. Even Mickey Van Ven just wasn't in position right. And seriously needs to make some subs soon. What Emerson Royale for Poro is not a decision he probably wanted to make, but Poro went down injured, so that was the first time in a game. More to follow. 
Right, Andrew's made three substitutions for this fake it up now. But to be fair, oh, still playing shot. He's brought Sunny on. Also bought Bent by Amber Suma. Replacing him is Kulazef B, Saar and Hoiberg. So he's definitely shaking things up. But personally, bringing Sunny off, I don't think that's the best decision. Four minutes to go, I think every single corner in this game, new pass for one. And it was just a matter of time before they scored for one. Four nil sums up the game really. Horrible second half. Full time at St. James is almost as bad as last year. Four goal deficit against last year's five. A horrible display today, both halves. The players are coming over now. A lot of the first first fans just left sort of 60 70 minutes because we made the substitutions, I think four in total, but nothing changed in the game at all. And it's really worrying, there's no game next weekend. The following weekend, we're at home to Arsenal, the massive North London derby. Arsenal are currently on fire, sitting top of the table, and I'm sure they'll come to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and really cause an upset because they can't afford to be dropping any points with Liverpool and Man City on their tail. So it was a horrible, horrible performance today. We should make sure that we keep everyone fit, keep all the options open for that Arsenal game. Maybe change the tactics, start a bit more defensively, because even if we can fight for a point in that game, that would be huge to knock them back. But horrible performance today. Need to move on. Six games left now. Make sure you guys can subscribe down below with post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our vlogs this season. And until the next one, the North London Derby, hopefully a lot better.